Hello folks, this will be the final episode of the Carnage and Scream 3D model painting project. I have finished Carnage for the most part and I won't go into it in this video but I did mention it in the last video and it's concerning the base I did not complete the base but I did not want to hold up the completing the figure because of the base but at some point in the future I'll get back to the base all right and what I did yesterday to complete the figure was I applied can you see it all right you can't see it I applied this that's what gives it the shine or the gloss pretty good stuff there's not much to say that I did not say in the last video because all I did was apply the gloss but that gloss does make it look nice and professional to me in my opinion anyway so I'm gonna give you a real good close-up let you see and that'll be it and then I want to talk about some of my upcoming projects so let's go ahead and get up close and personal with this Cornish 3d printed model And since this is the Carnage and Scream project, I wanted to take a one final look at Scream. Let's do a 360. In case you did not see any of the previous videos on this figure, please feel free to go and check those out. I explained my entire procedure from beginning to end, what I did to the figure, the materials I used, and all of that good stuff. really like the way this one turned out it's kind of rough around the edges just like the carnage because this is my first time painting 3d models but I will get better with time in practice All right, folks, there's not much more to say about this. And this concludes this project. And just stay with me for a moment and I'll be back and talk about some upcom upcoming projects. Thanks for watching these videos. Thanks for supporting my channel. And if you are not subscribed, please do so. I have some good, hopefully it'll be entertaining uh, videos coming up. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Now, these are my next two projects. I may be working on them simultaneously or I might 
just concentrate on one at a time. Not sure yet, but I want to point out what has to be done to these. Let me get my trusty pointer. Let's start with this Venom. I get. I don't know the name of this character. Spider Venom or whatever. Hold on one moment. All right, I'll get close up in a moment, but I just wanted to point out some things from this distance. Oh, and when you know it, I have him in the wrong position. Hold on. Okay, that's better. If you are familiar with this statue, you probably noticed that I have the figure on here the wrong way. This figure should be right in front of this gargoyle right here. But I am going to, I guess, I don't want to say improve, but I'm going to make some changes to the way the figure sits up on the, on the base. The way it was designed, I think is a poor design because, and I'll try to get a close up of this in a minute, but this hand right here, where actually this arm goes over the head and this hand sits back here somewhere. And because of the way it's designed and the way that you have to try to position this figure on the base, I believe that's the reason the fingers were broken off of this hand. Uh, can't account for these being broken. <laughs> no idea. But, and that's, okay, yeah, you can see the holes. That's why these holes are here. My plan is to plug these holes up, probably drill a hole here. Yeah, that's visible. And maybe or maybe not drill a hole on, on that foot. Hope you can see that. I have to see if it needs a hole or not. And I'm going to position the figure as it is right here to the side of the base. And I will display it something like that. This way you can see the figure and you can see the gargoyle. As it was designed, the this figure pretty much covered the gargoyle's head or maybe a good part of it. I mean, that's a nice design. I don't know why you would cover that up. I think the hardest part, let's see if I can zoom in a little. I'm probably going to cut his head off when I do this, but. Okay, hopefully that shows up on camera. Hold on, I got an idea. I'm smarter than the average bear. There you go. Now you can see it. We have one. Okay. Yeah, we just have one broken finger. This finger right here is broken off. So that's going to be one of the hardest things about this is trying to fabricate this finger using sculpt, epoxy sculpt. I finally got some and I'll be using that. Maybe that'll make things easier. And right now I'm thinking maybe I might have to drill a really tiny hole in here and put a piece of wire. I'm not sure yet. I'll have to experiment. Be right back. All right, I hope you can see. Whoa, sorry about that. Okay, let's zoom in. I'm actually holding the tripod up at this angle so I won't be able to point to anything over there because my arm won't reach or will it? No, okay, it's too awkward. I hope you can see this. He has several missing teeth. And again, that will be one of the hardest things about this project is trying to fabricate, fabricate, ooh, fab, fabricate something that small. And again, I don't know if it's visible, but on the opposite, on the left side of his head, where the jaw opens up that, I don't know what that material is called, but this right here, that's broken also. So I'll be trying to fabricate that with the uh, uh, epoxy sculpt. All right, be right back. Hold on. And here you can see the broken fingers. There are one, two, three broken fingers. Oops, sorry about that. So I have to fabricate those. But hold on, there's more. You can't really see it too well from this angle, but the gargoyle has two wings, right? Where are they? These are the wings. 
these are broken so I will hold on let me see if I can point it out I would have to attach those up here on top of the gargoyle and also there are some pieces pieces Ooh, okay <laughs> scratch that out there are some pieces missing from the wings so I would have to fabricate those pieces and attach those to the wing and there's one more thing hold on be back in addition to all of that there are a couple of pieces missing from the base there's a small piece missing here I have to fabricate it and toward the bottom of the base there's a couple of pieces also there's a foot that's missing so I have to fabricate that and it's just like this so I have to make another foot for it and that's gonna be that project that's gonna take quite a while so please come back stay tuned for that hold on let's go talk about this other figure over here <laughs> 